Good morning. I'm Tony Saladino. I'm an artist in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And I've decided uh, during these days of coronavirus that uh, I've got time to work with something I've been thinking about for a long time, and that is to make some videos about how I work, uh, especially how I do particular passages and paintings and more importantly, about how I think about the work that I do. I've done lots of critiques and often I'll tell uh, all of the critique members that it's more important to be thinking about what you're going to do, who your audience is, why your work will be valid, why it will be compelling. That's even more important than doing the work or getting into the work so quickly. So I know I hesitate, I, I watch, watch lots of videos on uh, the computer, but when I watch these videos, the thing that probably bothers me the most is how much talk is going on. I usually want to see something happening, but some of them are about philosophy, some about theology, some about science, lots about cooking, and often I will just turn the sound off. So. If you'd like to do that, that might work out best in the ones where I paint. But I think that it's important that you at least know how I feel about painting. And what I think about painting has to do with how I perceive the world. It'll be different from how you perceive the world. It also has to do with what my goals are in life. I was lucky enough to be able to recognize that I was in the wrong career when I was about 30 and I started painting and that's developed and now I, I paint full time, have for probably 25 years. In any case, I like to think about what I do before I come into the uh, painting room and I think about lots of aspects about what I do. What makes a painting valid? Is it that it is interesting or beautiful to someone else in their eyes. There are lots of ugly paintings out there that are in museums and that are thought by art critics to be valid and important pieces of work. But for many of us, it's not about making something beautiful to have sensational value, excuse me, something ugly to have sensational value, but it's more so to do something that we think is beautiful in, in our eyes and we hope that someone else will see that same beauty or that same compelling structure or energy of the painting. So that's what these videos will be all about. This is sort of an introduction. Uh, I hope that maybe you'll follow these and possibly if you get something out of them, let me know. I appreciate comments. For now, I'm going to leave it there, but we'll do another video. Uh, shortly and I'll be painting in that one. Thanks for watching.